Hi there, you are watching a video of piping systems in industrial plants. There are different design codes allowing us to calculate the required thickness of a pipe subjected to internal pressure. All these codes are based on the same principles described before, so they yield similar results. However, each code uses its own safety coefficients and calculating factors depending on the type of plant that is going to be designed. Most used design codes for piping systems in industrial plants are those of the ASME B31 code. All piping systems within power plants, geothermal heating systems and district and central heating or cooling systems shall be designed and calculated in accordance with the ASME B311 code. The piping designer should check the scope of the design code, verifying that the piping system to be designed is included in that scope, before beginning any development. In accordance with the ASME B31.1 code, the thickness required for straight sections of pipes under internal pressure is given by the following equation. The required thickness, Tm, is equal to the following. P, the design pressure, D, the outside diameter, S is the allowable stress of the material, E is the joint factor, Y is the temperature coefficient, A is the sum of tolerances. Let's recap. What is the allowable stress? The basic mechanical properties of steel can be obtained through a typical stress strain test. The diagram shows point A is known as yield point. If the tension load is released at any point below point A, the material returns to its initial state without any permanent deformation. When this point is exceeded, the material is no longer elastic. Releasing the load on this range leaves the specimen with the permanent or plastic deformation. Point B is known as tensile stress and point C is known as rupture point. Mechanical equipment must not work within the plastic deformation zone under any circumstances. After point A, the material has lost its initial mechanical properties permanently. Therefore, the allowable stress is always a percentage below the yield point. This percentage is a safety factor and it defines the allowable stress. The allowable stress is established by the designed code for each case and it is selected for a given material and the design temperature. The table shown on the screen lists the different piping materials and their corresponding mechanical properties. Here is where the code includes the safety factors for each material based on the experience and results obtained. The joint efficiency of welded systems is defined as the reliability that can be obtained from the welded joint. This coefficient adopts values equal to 1 in the case of seamless pipes, for example, or less than 1 in the case of welded pipes. Depending on the manufacturing methods, seamless, welded, resistance electric welding, etc., and depending on the level of non-destructive examination carried out, the pipe will have different levels of joint efficiency. Coefficient y, dimensionless and temperature dependent, is obtained from the table shown on screen. As observed, it depends on the operating temperature and the type of material used. It should be remembered that carbon steels and alloy steels are generally of phoretic structure, while most stainless steels used in industrial plants are of austenitic structure.
all piping systems within a petrochemical plant, oil refinery, paper refinery or textile plant shall be designed and calculated in accordance with the ASME B313 code. Same as for the previous case, the piping designer should check the scope of the design code verifying that the piping system to be designed is indeed included in that scope before beginning any development. In accordance with the ASME B31.3 code, the thickness required for straight sections of pipes under internal pressure is given by the following equation, where the required thickness, T, is equal to the following. Pressure P, the outside diameter of the pipe, D, where S is the allowable stress, E is the joint efficiency, W is the joint reduction factor, Y is the temperature coefficient. The table shown on the screen lists the different piping materials and their corresponding mechanical properties. Here is where the code includes the safety factors for each material based on the experience and results obtained. The table shown on the screen presents the longitudinal weld joint quality factor to be used to define the required wall thickness. Coefficient Y, dimensionless and temperature dependent, is obtained from the table shown on the screen. As observed, it depends on the operating temperature and the type of material used. It should be remembered that carbon steels and alloy steels are generally of phoretic structure, while most stainless steels used in industrial plants are of austenitic structure. Pipelines used to transport hydrocarbons outside an oil refinery, that is, upstream, which may be liquid petroleum gas, alcohol, liquid carbon dioxide, etc., will be calculated and designed according to the ASME B31.4 code. Same as for the previous case, the piping designer should check the scope of the design code, verifying that the piping system to be designed is included in that scope before beginning any development. In accordance with the ASME B31.4 code, the thickness required for straight sections of pipes under internal pressure is given by the following equation, where the required thickness T is equal to the following P design pressure, D outside diameter, S allowable stress, F design factor must not exceed 0.72, E is the joint factor, and Y is the yield strength. The design factor F reduces the allowable stress of the material due to imperfections in the pipeline, service conditions of the system and location of the pipeline. In general, the maximum value allowed by the code is used to avoid penalizing the design, although the designer may use a lower value on special occasions. The table shown on the screen lists the different piping materials and their corresponding mechanical properties. Here is where the code includes the safety factors for each material based on the experience and results obtained. As it can be observed, the column of the allowable stress includes the coefficients mentioned earlier. Piping systems used to transport gas outside of an oil refinery, that is, upstream, will be calculated and designed according to the ASME code B31.8. Same as for the previous cases, the piping designer should check the scope of the design code, verifying that the piping system to be designed it is indeed included in that scope before beginning any development. In accordance with the ASME B31.8 code, 
the thickness required for straight sections of pipes under internal pressure is given by the following equation, where the required thickness T is obtained with the variables P design pressure, D outside diameter, S yield strength, F design factor, E joint factor, and T temperature reduction coefficient. The table shown on the screen lists the different piping materials and their corresponding mechanical properties. In this case, the yield strength of the materials is listed so that, by applying the aforementioned coefficients, the lower stress of the materials is obtained. The design factor F reduces the allowable stress of the material due to service conditions and the location of the system. This way, working the table with the location and service of the system, the design factor F is obtained. Once the required thickness has been obtained based on the equations of each design code, it is necessary to select a commercial thickness from the available piping specifications. A pipe is specified according to its nominal diameter and its thickness. For the same nominal diameter, the outside diameter does not change. The nominal pipe size, NPS, is the identity of the pipe not being coincident with neither the outside diameter or the inside diameter. This is true for pipes up to 12 inches NPS. From 14 inches inclusive and larger diameters, the NPS matches the outside diameter of the pipe. As mentioned before, pipes are standard items that are selected. The specification that defines the constructive characteristics of a pipe are ASMI-ANSI B36.10 for cardboard steel pipes and ANSI-ASMI B36.19 for stainless steel pipes.